Politicians say they can bring these deserted buildings back to life and revive struggling neighborhoods by pumping our tax money into places that need help the most. But this is the story of why you can't always trust what they say. They should feel ashamed. That's former state Senator James Hargren, our tipster. He wrote the law that gives tax credits to companies that hire people in blighted high crime neighborhoods. And he told us we might want to look into it. You know, this business isn't doing as great as it should be because of what goes on in this town. Well, folks like Mike Graves will tell you all about the crime in his part of town. Not too long ago, there was a shooting right over here. But yeah. under the current rules, he cannot get those high crime zone tax credits no matter how many people he hires or how terrible the crime may be. Oh, it's terrible. It's people getting drunk, acting out all the time, fighting all the time. It's just insane. Doesn't matter because politicians decide where to put the high crime zones. And they cut out distressed neighborhoods through Tampa Bay and all across the state and put the biggest zone in the heart. Volcano Bay is now open! Of Orlando's tourist district. And that's how they steer millions intended to fight poverty and blight into theme parks and high-end resorts. There's nothing going on here other than tourism shops. So the same place Florida promotes as a world-class, kid-friendly vacation getaway is also mired in extreme levels of poverty, deterioration, and crime, at least for tax purposes. Here, I don't know, I feel safe. Only in Florida can people travel to a designated crime zone to feel safe. Oh, it's a nice area, yeah. It's a really nice area here. It's not a high crime zone? Blighted high crime zone? No, no, of course not. And so tax credits to clean up blight go to upscale department stores and luxury car dealerships, resorts, and theme parks. Universal picked up 2.2 million in high crime zone tax credits last year to build its new water park. And so it would have been like three years ago. Okay. Also in 2014, the state approved 30,000 for Orlando's perfume land. And watch what happens when we ask about their high crime zone tax credits. This is a great place to visit. Uh, you have all the great attractions around us, and more importantly, you have great shopping as well. So everyone is welcome to come and visit. No longer a blighted high crime zone. No, that's not the way we view it. And when we viewed it just beyond the high crime zone, we found more nice restaurants, chic boutiques, ballet school, and stogies, and gated communities with multi-million dollar homes. And since you've owned this business, since you've worked here, have you seen any drug deals around here? Um, I wouldn't, no, I've not seen drug deals around here. Shootings? Uh, nope, not around here. But stabbings? No, no stabbings. Jessica Harnett has worked here for some eight years and says she knows the area pretty well. You definitely pay for what you get. Is there high crime on the golf courses? Not on the golf courses, but we have seen where there's securities and there's security gates in these neighborhoods, but people are coming off from the lakes and on top of the golf courses to come into the neighborhood. Oh, so there's trespassing? Yep. Yes. Okay. Well, there's that. Yes, there's, yep, there's trespassing. Now, compare that to business owners around Tampa Bay who can't get help. They did put her in the cooler. Put her in the cooler? Yeah, yes. Christine Vasconcello's store was robbed twice. A drug deal happening right in front of you, being right in front of the store, um, or, you know, or just getting held up. I mean. You think that's bad? The folks over in the high crime zone actually had some people trespassing on the golf course. <laughs> yeah, that's a big problem. <laughs> We showed all this to Florida's House Speaker, and he said it's an outrage. We need to create more entrepreneurs in those spaces, not just to hand out tax giveaways to big Fortune 500 companies. The second thing is we don't even go back and reevaluate. So when Universal does go in there and they build and they change that community, and now is it still high crime? We haven't even measured uh, and looked at crime statistics prior to their entry and after their entry to see if that credit should even be in existence anymore. And obviously it shouldn't. It's a loser for the state. But guess what happened after he scolded this tax credit deal? legislature just kept it going. And to this day, the state feeds money into tourist resorts to fight poverty, while a lot of struggling neighborhoods don't get a dime. High, high crime? Blight? Anybody blight?